God has brought you out of the fire. Wait a minute. And brought you out so that the ones that opened the door got burned. And you came out not even smelling like fire. Because fire is not your abode. <laughs> Sister Alva, I'm going to preach to you and Geek and Tony. The rest of them, I don't know what they I, I guess they're getting it. I'm playing with y'all. I know you're listening. I know, don't, don't pay that. That's just preacher talk. Because some of y'all go here, well, my God, here we go with this arrogant self again. You know, he don't know if we listening or not, you know. That ain't nothing but preacher talk. Don't pay that no mind. But some of y'all done missed the whole thing. I resent the fact he up there telling me what I'm listening to. But once in a while, you ought to wave your garment of praise. <laughs> Strong evidence of his loving care prison garments and it says and it came to pass in the seventh and thirty year of the captivity of Jehoiakim king of Judah in the twelfth month in the fifth and twentieth day of the month that Eva married that king of Babylon in the first year of his reign first year of his reign the spirit told him go down into the dungeon go down into the dungeon and lift up and lift up the head Oh my God, y'all should catch that. You know, you know, when you've been down so long and look like your breakthrough come, come, don't your head come up? I said, don't your head come up? When you know you've been down, couldn't make it, and all at once you got healed, got delivered, and, and, and that, that, that's what it means by he, uh, 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 he, he lifted up his head. And, 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 and then it says in verse 32, and spake kindly unto him. Wait a minute, a king speaking kindly to a prisoner. Well, that's what Jesus did to us. And spake kindly unto him and set his throne and set his throne above the throne of the kings that were with him in Babylon. Wait a minute. The other kings were there. He brought a man out of prison and put them over the other kings. Say it again. Look what God will do. Some people hide you and don't know why they hide you. Well, let me leave that alone. And then it says here in verse 33, and changed his prison garments. And he did continually eat bread before him all the days of his life. And for his died, there were a continuing died given him of the king of Babylon, every day a portion until the day of his death. My God, all the days of his life. And spake kindly unto him. Eva Merodach came to the throne on the death of his father, Nebuchadnezzar. Mercy stirred his heart and he went right down into the prison house and let a prisoner out. Go over to Isaiah 60. Go over to Isaiah 60. Holler amen when you get there. And I want you to catch something. I want you to catch what God will do for you. Are you in Isaiah 60? Look at verses 15 and 16. Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellence, a joy of many generations. Y'all didn't catch that. And look what it said. Deke, I heard you say it. I'll make thee an eternal excellence, a joy of many generations. And now, wait a minute. 
wait a minute, look, look at me, look at me. This is really, this is really prisoner. Came up and ate the Gentiles' food. Look with verse 16. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and thou shalt suck the breasts of kings, and thou shalt know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior, thy Redeemer, and the Mighty One of Jacob. In prison one minute, and up there eating the enemy's food the next minute. Look what it says, Sister Moore. I see Sister Moore shaking her head, so I'll preach to her. Thou shalt also what? Suck the milk of the Gentiles, and thou shalt suck the breasts of kings, and thou shalt know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior and thy Redeemer. I kept you there for 37 years. Now you'll believe that I'm your Savior. i let you come out and drink milk from someone who didn't want to give it to you. Let me move on. I'll make thee an eternal excellence. Ah, to save them, and God will save you in royal fashion. Are you with me? And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Jehor King, Jehor King Kim did not faint for 37 years. He held on. And God brought him out. God will give you, as I told you on Sunday, God will give you double for your trouble. Like, 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 like Job, the Lord blessed thee, blessed thee, uh, blessed the latter end of, of Job more than his beginning. Does anybody in here now got more than you started off with? Do I have a witness up in here? Uh, 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 uh Kim could sing like old man Job. I, you ain't gonna tell me that he didn't back up to Job and say, after this. <laughs> after these 37 years, I came out with new garments on. After 37 years, tell somebody, after I've been messed over and everything else, after this, God has blessed me. He could eat at the king's table, took off his old dirty garments after this. Uh, 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 a good had some, it was some good laid up for him. Don't be fooled by human ordinariness. I guess that's a word. If it is, I just call it. Uh, don't be fooled by human ordinariness because you're looking at one. God chose the most unlikely people for greatness to magnify his own greatness. That's why I'm out here on Wednesday night, because God took nothing and made something out of it. The most unlikely people for greatness to magnify his greatness. All of us, all of us have a after this. Can I say it again? I said, all of us have a after this. That's why I love it when Sister Alba do, what's that song? My old. I love that song. Because, honey, I don't mean any harm. Because I was, when God saved me, I might have thought I was choked up. I might have thought I had a decent suit. But I don't mean any harm. I didn't know what goodness was until goodness found me. I didn't, know, I didn't know how to wear anything until he put a garment on me. I didn't know how to do anything until God dressed me up. And honey, when God dress you up and bring you out of prison, you ought to be humble. I said, when God do anything for you, you ought to be a humble person. You should never come in here like a peacock thinking you are all of that. Because I don't mean no harm. He saved me out of a miserable life of sin. And I don't mean any harm, and he decked me out. And every time I come to his table, every day I eat of his table. And God will cause your enemies to be your footstool. Do I have a witness up in here? I said, do I have a witness up in here? 
All you got to do is hold your peace. God will fight your battles for you. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. 37 years in prison and came out, went in there a king and came out a greater king. Thank you.